government to provide free treatment to hepatitis patients. And vehicular movement along Infalji River Road resumes this morning. Good afternoon. Welcome to ISTV English News at 4 and now the news in detail. Health Minister L. Jane Dukumar intimated that under the aegis of World Health Organization, the central government pledges to eliminate hepatitis by 2030. The minister was speaking at the observation of World Hepatitis Day and launch of National Hepatitis Control Program at the Auditorium of RIMS. The program was held under the theme Invest in Eliminating Hepatitis. Director of RIMS Professor A. Santa, Project Director of Manipur State Aids Control Society, a. Radhabinot Sharma, State Mission Director of NHM, Dr. Manikanta and Medical Superintendent of RIMS, Professor C. H. Arun Kumar attended the program. Director of RIMS, Professor A. Santa said, there are many hepatitis infected persons in India. The disease is becoming the second most dangerous disease in the whole world. Timely intervention, prevention and cure can save the people living with a serious infection. He added that hepatitis is a serious liver infection caused by hepatitis virus. People should get more awareness about the disease he aided. Minister for Health L. Jaint Kumar stated that the central government under the aegis of World Health Organization targets to eradicate hepatitis by 2030. He maintained that the target can be materialized when the health fraternity works diligently and dedicatedly. The minister maintained that it is the responsibility of everyone to save lives. He also stressed the need to raise awareness on free medical treatment of the disease at RIMS and JNIMS among the people in both the hills and the valley. The government targeted the targeted and have targeted the total eradication of this hepatitis. The big question is, the government targeted the whole number of the treatment plan and the diagnosis of the treatment the Health Minister L. J. Kumar has appealed to hepatitis patients to overcome and come out of the social stigma. He was speaking at the inauguration of Model Treatment Center and State Laboratory for Hepatitis Patients at Genims, organized by State Health Mission Society under the National Viral Hepatitis Control Program. Director of Genims, Dr. T. H. Bhimo, Medical Superintendent, Dr. Jitendra, Director of State Health Mission, Dr. S. Manikanta, and other officials attended the program. As part of the program, the minister distributed free medicines to hepatitis patients. The minister further intimated that the center will provide free treatment to hepatitis patients. There is no need to worry if anyone is found infected with the virus as it can be cured with timely treatment. The minister has called on to people to come and get treatment at the center. Formerly, I was told that my younger doctors Vehicular movement at the Lijong village along Imphal Jeribam Road has resumed this early morning, which has been cut off due to landslide on July 26. The vehicular movement has been able to resume after authority concerned put strong efforts to clear the road. 
Meanwhile, a team of TDC led by President Aish Ranjit inspected the affected area caused by landslide at T. Lajong village on July 26. A goods truck has been destroyed in the landslide. President of TDC Aish Ranjit said if rain continues in the area, there is possibility of another landslide and has sought the attention of the state government to take stock of the situation. He has appealed to NHIDCL to construct a culvert in the area. Aich Ranjit has thanked the efforts of NHIDCL in making vehicular movement possible after the landslide. NHIDCL na hai bhasi makata na drain amadi hai bhasi tarakta na ba lambi chatpada apan ma thokta na ba amoka he na yeng yala ningi ngarang hai riba landslide thokta na gari chatpaya da na layar madu athu ba matam da hai bhasi ngarang ngi numi si lepta na amadi ahing ba wa thawagi sudara ka nda hai riba gari singi loi na lalam ngi vidam ta wi NHIDCL amadi hai riba contractor HBS bo su thakar pa phongduk chari Medical Superintendent of Genems, Dr. N. Jitendra, stated that neurological surgery has been conducted successfully at Genems. Speaking to ISTV News, Dr. Jitendra said over 14 to 15 neurological surgeries have been conducted successfully over the past few weeks after neurosurgeons Dr. Amit and Dr. Parkinson came to Genems and that it has helped poor families from incurring huge medical expenses at private hospitals. He intimated that the state was taken under the directive of the chief minister. The doctor also said that more manpower and advanced medical equipments are still required. private hospital to bangam draba have the financial condition maro moidana may am si akui tahon janingi to budabu ventilator neuro surgery ward adu neuro surgery the train to robot nurses adagi maro ina main power ate ate have the super attendant adu gumbasi kitang wali and honorable chief minister of manipur na akui the go ahead ikhala o to rosi hai re akui na sanji process to wo hujare athu ba matam da hai riba khuju khulai yam sophisticated to ba operating microscope na singba leiba ho roba adu argadi uh, maybe by next two three months, I cannot already neurosurgery operation. I am but I fully covering a lunar doctor Sintina. I want to stop so perhaps and be a guy with the full support of the honorable chief minister of Manipur. I do a way director and so do my own the SMS. I do go ahead, hi, Vibani, and we'll try our best for the people of Manipur. Under the supervision of MLA of Moirang Assembly Constituency, P. Sarachandra, the 5-kilometer-long Kaifa Road and 3-kilometer-long road from Moirang, Oksongbung to Shribon was repaired by treating with chips. The Kaifa Road is closely related to the legend of Moirang, Kangli Roll, as it has been said to be treated by Kamba when he went to cage of tiger. The locals of the area appreciated the action of the MLA and have sought his attention to blacktop the road. ไล่ฮักตักตะกี้ไกพาโรดไฮนะมะมิงไลดาวะลัมบีซีเซมเดลาวะคุนคุนทรามุงเนฮุจิคุนดาวะมะพัมเซอาจุมวยชุมดะก
Officials of Horticulture Department distributed high tree rocker sprayers to 11 farmers of Kachai in Ukrul district. A program on rocker sprayer distribution was held at Kachai organized by Horticulture Department Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, MIDH. Additional Director of Horticulture Department, M. Kiran Kumar, Mission Director of MIDH, N. Premananda, Dr. M. Toitoy of Thaubal KVK and AAO M. Navachandra attended the event. Additional Director M. Kiran Kumar said the equipment has been introduced to ease the difficulties faced by lemon farmers in spraying insecticides by piggybacking the equipment. MIDs, Tagi, Aquina Karimba, Schema Yam Dugasu, Tang as a spin to Haraga, Rocker Spears, Taratum, Kuni Pizerisi, Masina Aquina, Magi, Katsai, a pre processing and a Vagi Grover Society Sida, Aquina Piri Haraga, Kunzama and Singasina, Hydebus Society Sida, direct a quick and take to Haraga, Moi Moi Darkali, Bissingo, the Kapa Darkali, Bomata, the Moino Wajaraga, my Kam and Naba, Aduman Aquina Sinsaba, the program. And the Gisa Himanga to Kim among the Dissumba Rocker Spears, Hanashun Pigitri. Sigi Mota Kuna Napsak Spare and Nanga the Puraga, Piki Maka, Piki Piper, Pambi Kapaki, Atukadan Piri. The Sigi Sukuna, Casale Monki the Magdi, Hai Riba, Lena Tina Sangiba, Production Dahandariba, Casale Monsi Karakra, Kati, Magi Production Zikre Hanga Navina Rumba, is he visible. But if you cost any Puna distribute them, there is. Mission Director of Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, MIDH, and Premananda intimated that the steps have been taken up to produce sufficient products as Kachai Lemon has acquired the GI tag. A proposal also has been taken up to open a food processing unit. <laughs> Ungaiba oi amurum dana entrepreneur industry to to viva hai mai puthoi ba kaya ana apam jira lakna madugi concentrate mai do lau nuba ki khudung chawa su koi na padam thami. One day open discussion program on present situation of school boardings and hostels in Kanglai Park, Manipur was held at Iboyama Shanglin, organized by Students' Union of Kanglai Park, SUP today. Social scientist Dr. Dhanabir Laishram, former member of MCPCR Pradeep Kumar, honors of hostels, parents and guardians of students and teachers attended the event. Speaking on the occasion, Kaisham Pradeep Kumar stated that there are no guidelines, rules and regulations of hostels in the state. He maintained that the problem stemmed out as the hostels put their own rules and regulations to force. He stressed the need for the government to form a state child policy and that a swift conclusion will be reached in regard to the death of a student of Standard Robert Higher Secondary School if a SIT props the case. In a hostel, amid the boarding, khaktamak shapti or helaga children's right atayi aspect shu loyna ma phani hai budi yadavani na Manipur ki state child policy ama yamna thu na lenga asina lock thok pi bachangi child policy isi ki drab ama chahi ani ki mamang dagi Manipur ki lenga ta sinaja krabani madhu MCPCR na sir comment to weekre holistic oyna ma pum oyna angangi protection issue oyna lawi raga. Hostel the book or children home the book or observation home the book or yum the book or a lot of angst in the room upon coding the safety measures laser of hung up with the mug yamna comprehensive way by lambdam sika chanava state child policy ama lona na specific way na hostel amadi boarding ye as issue a national commission for protection of child rights na lock talk to na 2018 the same dunna layer of a guideline the door Koi state as in a yamna, a two matamda, notified to Viragadi, Karamakaidi, Soidana, Angang Singi, Live Kanmangani. President of Suk Dhanakumar Ningtoja said that the discussion program was organized to implement guidelines of NCPCR 2018 in the state. Boarding amadi hotel singda. Hazi hozi thok liba thodok sing mama mama da thok liba thodok sing. Hazi hozi ta boarding oi liba da standard robot higher secondary school ki boarding da mai roi nupi masa thamai bandagi ni thakusan babies na sanu laiki da bogi thodok hozi hozi pang pang sana leiri bani. Hai liba thodok sing asi makata na 
Toktanaba, Tungkoina, Nyom Zumna, Guide Lenamogi Makada, Restoration Torakanda, Boarding of the Hostel Sing Salari, Singa Sea, Koya Hosi, Pipam Nyom Zumda among the Sengum Sobuduna, Sawala Liba Mayama Sea, Kratas, we control Tongwang Naba, I coin a sea, discuss the Sinjera Kanda, Lemna Mayam, Lemna Warepuna, Guide Lenoina, Koya Gamenda, Sana Nabogi Makta, Koya, Taxan Gani Hebo from the Sea President, Medagam from the Tamsi. Teams of Imphal East Commando and 26 Assam Rifles is continuing massive manhunt for persons involved in the killing of Thangko Let Kipgun and Thang Milun Haukip, who was killed by suspected KNF guarders on July 10th at Hentang Village of Cycle Subdivision. A combined team of Imphal East Commando led by additional SP Operation Krishna Tombi and 26 Assam Rifles conducted such operation at BB Gamnom Hill. The team destroyed a hideout used by the underground rebels and recovered large number of arms from the spot. The recovered items were one AK-47 rifles along with nine bullets, one lethot gun along with four bullets, 47 live rounds of bullets of AK-47 rifles and some used bullets and bullets of lethot gun. Further operation is underway at the spot. Now it's time for a very short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Action! Go, go, go! Hmm. Glamour comes automatic with the Vitara Brezza. Cool take, wasn't it? It's the wrong car! It's the right car for me. Now with AGS. Welcome back. One Day Awareness Come Training Program on Scientific Management of Integrated Beekeeping was held at Tongo Village of Ukrul District. The program was organized by Directorate of Extension Agri Education, Central Agricultural University, Imphal, in association with ICAR Atari Zone 7, Umiam, Meghalaya. Chief of Tongo Village, Atem A. Shimre, Village Mantri, A. Hum Simon, and Ngashun Ngam were among others present at the training program. Experts spoke on management of beekeeping during the program. Around 100 farmers participated at the training program. Moray Battalion of 26th Sector under AG, IGAR South celebrated Cargill Vijay Divas at Howlin 5 Village. The local students of Howlin 5 Village, T. Mino Village, T. V. Gamnom 5 Village and Aish Munnom Village attended the screening of audio-video documentary on Cargill War. The World Day Against Trafficking in Persons was observed on the theme Creating Pathways to Safety at Moirang Multipurpose Higher Secondary School at Moirang Lamkai. The program was organized by Child Line Bishnapur Collab, Principal of Moirang Multipurpose Higher Secondary School, T.H. Devendra, Vice Principal, K.H. Sanayama Singh, Director of Child Line Bishnapur, L. Pishak Singh, and many others attended the program. Director L. Pishak said, Human trafficking is being the second most profitable business in the whole world. People should be aware of human traffickers all the time he ate it. United Nations, America, crime, uh, crime reporter people, eh? the first largest business in the world. Kulai Lalonba, Bong Top Lalonba, Ani Subada, drugs. But now it is from 2018. Human trafficking is the second largest business in the world. We treat the quiet of each other by Shafai Hyme Targadi, me Lalonba, Ashne, Madun and Oji, me Lalonba, my Mamacha Travis. Tongan Tongan Bamonga, Nupa Masa Singu, Nupi Masa Singu, Lukravi Singu, Makoi Makoi Se, Mongo the Mashi Hari the Hena Pagani, Mongo the Mashmana Hari of Pagani, Makoi the Mashmana Hari of Pagani, I begin, Madu Mi Lanumba organized crime, Kangu Kana, Lanumpo in a Lanumpo decision in the Beta Mata, Mu Vishing Simapanda Potoi. District Police Bisnupur, BBC, Pioneer Club and BMC Bisnupur conducted a cleanliness drive at Bisnupur Bazaar area on District Hospital campus and areas of highways this morning from 7 to 8 a.m. The cleanliness drive was led by SP Hobson Sapam and many police personnel participated at the drive. Members of Lions Club Imphal Paradise planted tree saplings at Top Awang Lekai. President of Lions Club, Lion Dr. A.K. Kamba, Secretary Lion Darendra and Treasurer Lion N. Gunadhaja were among others present on the occasion. 
A one-day free health Ayush camp was held at Kangabok Maisnam Lekai, jointly organized by State Ayush Society, Manipur, Directorate of Ayush, Lamphel Path, and United Youth Club Kangabok. The camp was organized as part of the public health outreach activity. Locals of Kangabok Maisnam Lekai and from surrounding villages got treatment at the camp and free medicines were distributed at the camp. The day's long cleanliness drive started from 10th of this month is still continuing at Tobul village as part of the aim to make the village clean and dirt free. The cleanliness drive is being conducted by 20 interns of summer internship program under Swatch Bharat mission second phase organized by Green Brigade Tobul unit Bisnupur district under the EGs of Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan, Bishnupur. Secretary of Green Brigade Taubul, Ilang Bampremjit said, the theme will start the initiative of replacing plastic bags with paper bags at shops. <laughs> The <laughs> Government to provide free treatment to hepatitis patients. And vehicular movement along Impal Jiribam Road resumes this morning. That's all we are for now. We'll be back again at 8 tonight. Until then, have a nice day.